<laughs> it's the rundown. It's brought to you by. Gold? Stop talking! I'm trying to do the fucking intro to the goddamn rundown. <laughs> it's crazy. I right. tried to start it four times and they keep interrupting. To me. be fair, I've only interrupted you once. <laughs> Fuck! The rundown brought to you by Everyone New Amsterdam so Vodka. New Amsterdam distills their vodka five times so that you can drink it straight. You can mix it with your favorite uh, mixed drinks. You can uh, have martinis with it, drink it neat on the rocks, whatever. It's the smoothest uh, vodka out there. It's the official vodka of Spit and Chicklets. It's the official vodka of Barstool Sports. It's the official vodka of the summer. Get your drink on. I don't know if you can speak for summer like that. Oh, I will. Oh, I'm going to speak for yeah. summer. You guys have tried to announce the song of the summer in like February before. I don't know why Facts. this is any different. We speak for the summer all the time. Yeah. I am the Lorax. I speak okay. for the trees. Okay, fair play. We begin with Max Scherzer. I fucking hate Max Scherzer, man. Why? Because he plays for the Nationals, and Kevin thinks his team is a real team. <laughs> What'd you just say? Fair? <laughs> oh, yeah. Fair point, Coley Mick. Uh, I mean, he is the ultimate hardo. He backs it up, but he's a Why is he a hardo? Because he's like a fucking raging lunatic all the time. Yeah, Relax, but, but, like, but not because of this. That, Max Scherzer is a hardo. More because he has two different colored eyes. Yeah, than that this. shit's this annoying. Is he had like, no control over that. Right, I was even over this. I was like, he had a lot of control over this. For sure, it did. Yeah. The, I mean, like everyone just applauded Zdeno Chara for playing with the oh, broken sure. jaw. I knew, I knew we were gonna go with the hockey. But I'm not I, saying he's a hardo for this. I'm saying he's a hardo in general. I mean, he's kind of a hardo for this. It's like just take a fucking start off, dude. You know, nobody cares. Nobody does care. It's nobody the cares. Washington Nationals. No yeah. one cares even <laughs> no when you're doing cares. good. You don't need to go out there like with your face broken and prove anything, dude. I think, I think Scherzer, after I how stupid he looked in the video, he had to. That was the thing. I, I, I think yeah. he knew that he was the asshole and he had to cover it up, basically. It, up it was. I mean, that video is, is all time. The, not is. even what Max, like, Max is in his white sunglasses like a goddamn dick. And he's like laughing, like fucking around. But the, the star of the video was the guy throwing BP. Yeah, it's just. Because like, it was. Just like, like every, this is gonna be my fault. It was so yeah. perfectly. Your fault. You could hear your dad. Yeah. That's what happens. Yep. That's what happens when you're not paying attention and messing around out there. I mean, he didn't even try. He no. Just, think bat head, like bat head fucking pointing straight up. Terrible bunch. That has to also like that hurts. But the embarrassment that you're feeling in the moment, you're 100%. just like this hurts so much more, motherfucker. Yeah. I'm so embarrassed. You know, that, that's the only reason he had to do this. You know where that doesn't happen? AL ballparks. Max Scherzer's eye. Shiny yeah. is a like, and if we had this DH pistol. everywhere, we wouldn't have be be blessed with this fucking clip. It's Fair great. Point. Fair point as well. All right. The uh, fuck. What was I just gonna say? Fuck a dick. <laughs> I was just gonna say something. I forgot what it was. Oh, Porcello. You see Porcello's comments on it? Porcello yeah. was like, I don't give a fuck. Porcello's like, <laughs> Scherzer. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah, he was, he was like, like, he's got arms still, right? Yeah. All right, he can pitch. Yeah. I mean, I did think that. That was more hard like, than anything Scherzer's yeah, yeah, ever yeah. done. He's there but, like, it was it hard to pitch with a black guy, a broken nose? I don't know, I never broke my nose. It doesn't affect my arm at all. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of think that though. You know, I guess your eyes are fucked up, your face is swollen. You're not going to be at your best, but you can still throw. I mean, he threw what? Seven innings, ten Ks? Yeah. yeah. He he's was, still he's pretty good. close to yeah. your fucking best. Yeah, he's yeah. pretty damn good. Uh, keeping with baseball, maybe one of the stupidest ideas I've ever heard in the history of just ideas. So let alone bad. sports or baseball. The Tampa Bay Devil Rays becoming a two-city team Love in it. Montreal. Half the season, the first half of the season is played in Tampa Bay. The second half is played in Montreal. Um, it's a terrible idea. There's only it's, no, it, I mean, it's, yeah, yes, it's so, so bad, bad, though. It's so bad, it's great. So bad. There's it's only, so bad, it's awesome. Only one way I'm in is if when they go to Montreal, they're an NL team. Yeah. They have to be completely different leagues when they switch. I like, like that. Like, they can be in the AL East when they're Tampa, and then they're, they're in the NL East. I don't know. Maybe we get, like, the Marlins or some <laughs> shit. I want their uniforms to be, like, the bottom half Expo yeah. fans, top race <laughs> Yes. Fans. That, like, just, okay. like, just fucking abortions of outfits. The, the uh, Outfits. <laughs> outfits. Yeah, their fits Ooh, better be nice. Their, their baseball outfit better be <laughs> Prim and proper. <laughs> it, it's the stupid, but, like, it's so dumb that it's great. I would so love dumb. to. I, I want someone. I mean, by the way, this is not gonna happen. Like they said, no, no, no. They, no, no. They've been permission to explore the idea. Like it's gonna. They're gonna go. Wait a minute. We're gonna have to have two different like houses. No. Yeah. yeah. This That's is like gonna... this is like when Frank Reynolds came in and told everyone that their mom was dead, and then he goes, I'm <laughs> "Yeah, just kidding, he we got bar. divorced." Yeah, 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 <laughs> like, yeah. It's, it's a total. It's a total negotiation tactic. No like, doubt. Anything they say what now, they... Will be like, well, that's not too crazy. At this point of it like i'm already all in on it happening that if they don't if it doesn't happen that's i'm gonna be furious be i'm gonna be furious what they're i mean they should just move back to montreal this is a half measure 
Yes, correct. they should just abandon Tampa Bay. No, and no, go. they should stay half the season in Tampa Bay. <laughs> half the season. Can you imagine? I need at least get, one season of this. Imagine you get drafted by the Rays and it's like, all right, now you gotta go talk to like Canadian customs. And yeah, by the like, way, what, it's you, another two country. Yeah, yeah, like how it's are you? It's not like it's like, well, you'll do uh, one half in Tampa and one half in Miami. You're going to a different country, man. Imagine being their fucking accountant. <laughs> like, uh, I'm, yeah, like I'm, how do you do yeah, your taxes? Am I getting paid in? Am I getting paid in the American dollar? You get paid like loons half the year. I don't even know. Every everything about it is is. Awfully brilliant. They, they gotta be called so the X-rays. Okay. I, I, I the X-rays. Okay. And, and, See, and the more cooking, we talk about it, the better and, an and, idea and, becomes. And they're the two best strip club places in the world. Right. You gotta work at it. That's gotta be baked into this little proposition. St. Catherine somehow. Street and Mods. Instead of foul poles, they're stripper poles. I, I want their uniforms and, and their outfits on, on, on top of being multinational. I also want them like little league style. Where they have like the advertisements, yeah. okay. and, and yeah. it's like okay. it's like mods and, Venus, and some and, like uh, funeral home on the, the back. Yeah, no, but the strip clubs. Oh, okay, got you. That's what it is. And I want like a, a hybrid of O Canada and the national anthem. Like we don't sing mm. both. It's like every other word. Because both one let's, song. Let's, let's call it what it is. Both just takes up too much time. Way too much time. And I'll be it's honest, insane. O Canada has been kicking our ass. Yeah, O Canada. The performances is, recently. Way better tune. Canada sure. all the time. Way better tune. The I, I would like to like speak to someone in the MLB though. It we won't be on a podcast. It won't be recorded. It won't be like. I just want to be like, what did you guys what the think? Fuck's going on? What did you guys think was going to happen when this? <laughs> when, you when, when you announced that there was going to be a team, the the Tampa Bay, Tampa like Bay Rays joke. of Montreal, like it was crazy enough when you did Los Angeles, uh, Angels, Angels, Angels of Anaheim. Yeah. The Tampa Bay Rays of Montreal. I I they would I, I honestly I promised the MLB this. If that team becomes real, they will be my favorite baseball. Yeah. Team. Oh, people. We were talking about how do you buy season tickets? Do this. Yeah. I'll yeah. Buy season yeah. tickets. Well, absolutely. I'll travel to Tampa. I'll go to zero I'll games. To just write you a check every year. Don't. I will buy every piece of merch. It the, will the be the Tampa Bay Montreal. The Boston X-rays. Red Sox will be no concern. The Tampa, about Bo- the Tampa Bay Montreal <laughs> X-rays with a whole new national anthem and really nice outfits. I'm fucking in. Yeah. I mean, people love for at least one single day on Twitter. When, oh, yeah. when uh when uh when MILB teams do this shit. Yeah, yeah when they yeah. like a hot dog. Yeah, it's like, oh, look at that. It's a dad bod Arnold. jersey. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm going to retweet this and never give a fuck about this team again. Uh, this team should I will, al- I will dedicate my life to this team. This team should also DH, but not for the pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, our second baseman doesn't hit. It's perfect. Yeah. Dumb make it, make it. Yeah, I want. Just because this will be fun just to see how mad, like, I, like, like you got to make, you got to oh make a God. mockery of the whole sport. <laughs> There's a big time mockery. Right? Like Peter Gammons, big right? Time. Like, this will kill Peter Gammons. Remember in, uh, remember he in, will, he will keel over dead. He's like, neither of these cities are even real. <laughs> what are we doing? In, remember in elementary school, I don't know, I don't know if this is a, a game or just a game like my gym teacher invented, where you could just choose what bat you wanted to use. Kinda. They had yeah. like the big Bertha bats, like the Bam Bam mm-hmm. bats. You could use a fucking tennis racket. You mm-hmm. could use a wiffle ball bat. This, like you, mm-hmm. you could use a fungo bat. You could use a metal bat. You could use a wood bat. Maybe you could pitch use golf balls. Anything you want. A golf ball with a metal bat just, is always the funnest thing. What we're saying is, I think we don't like baseball. <laughs> we need to just change <laughs> this sport. Just, no, no, <laughs> just the Rays. We don't like the Rays. We don't like the Rays. Well, let's make them a weird science experiment. <laughs> I'm, I'm so down for it. Yeah. And also, just to throw like, a, a cherry on top, you, you, the games at Tampa, you don't get a new stadium. You got to stay in the trop. Definitely. You, know? <laughs> you have to stay in the trop. It's crazy. That's the, and that's even when they move, we need to keep the trop alive for like other things. Yeah. Like the, conventions the, the will be held like in the baseball's trop. Chernobyl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just Come leave it in ghost town to remember what was. Des- desolate, fucking horrible place. I bet you that place is radioactive. That's how <laughs> yeah, bad it is. For sure. Also, with baseball, uh, the, 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 the Dominican officials are saying that Big Poppy was not the intended target of that clearly intended hit. First of all, shout out baseball. Three topics in a row on the run. Yeah. Pretty good. Oh, hey, if you, you stay relevant, you have one of your stars. Get near murders, <laughs> completely cockamamie ideas, and have an asshole with a black eye. This is Turn baseball into hockey. Baseball. Turn yeah, mockery Rob and murder. Manfred, you are crushing it, dude. It. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is just stupid. Yeah, I mean, it's... What's, what's even it's the, this what holds no like water. Goal here? It's, yeah. it's what's to be expected with the Dominican Republic. Yeah. I mean, they've had what? Ten Americans die there, like, like a day, like this month, uh, yeah. this year. It's crazy. The the tourism is go, not doing well. If you go to the Dominican Republic right now, you deserve to die. I'll tell you what, <laughs> there's not a single you person or you might die. in the Dominican Republic who does not know what David Ortiz looks like. Right. None. Like you don't mistakenly shoot David no. Ortiz. He's also not a small guy, so right. even if you were kind of confused, you'd be like, yeah. boy, that guy that I'm supposed to kill apparently is gigantic. If huh? you, oh wait, that's David Ortiz. If you were aiming for someone behind David Ortiz, you simply tap him on the shoulder and ask him to move out of your way. <laughs> yeah. You don't try to shoot through him. Like no. this, our assailant here. I, I mean, did. just absolutely asinine. The um, they've had like a week and a half to prepare, come up with what happened, and this was it. Their I mean, best, it, their best it, effort was what? Nope, it yeah. was not him. And what happened with like the drug lord story? Like we already All know not. that story. There are, there are apparently twelve of them under arrest now. 
Pretty good. That's a lot for shooting the wrong guy. One of the I only saw one guy on the video. Unintended yeah. ta target. But the my question. Twelve is, people were splitting eight grand. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> um, not worth it. Is return on investment. Not good. In on this, because mm -hmm. there were rumors where like did the, did the Dominican officials come to America and they were like, David, we know you're in some shit. The nurses Bro. have been telling us about how you were trying to pull the plug on yourself and they were explaining <laughs> that's not going to do anything. Yo, I'm telling you that he is at least embedded in the drug game a little bit too much. Oh, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the other rumors about I infidelity think, uh, and things like that. No, oh, I that's Poppy. definitely true. Yeah, but and that's, is that why Poppy's like, yeah, they weren't even trying for me. And he tells his wife, look, wrong, <laughs> different target. Classic. This was all oh, mistaken no, identity. Up. How could I possibly have been cheating? Oh, he didn't even up. mean to shoot me. She's on the Instagram and everything, talking about him, like, you know, Yeah, but you know what? Jesus. She keeps asking for privacy. If you're asking for privacy, yeah, it's because you you're, you're in there, like, every night trying to fucking suffocate him with a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here. Keep it moving. Uh, Skip Bayless is continually getting trolled. Yesterday was uh, Sports Talk Barry with the man boobs joke uh, or prank. Today, or at some point, I guess, Nick Nurse was asked to sign a sign that said, Skip is a bitch. Pretty much straight and right to the point. Got him. And, um, you know, it's not even. I like, don't even think that's trolling. I think trolling's an overused word, and I think that's just. Yeah, just Nick Nurse shot. hates Skip Bayless, yeah, yeah. the guy who made this sign. Hits, I mean, that, yeah, that's an aggressive move to be like, okay, yep, I see this, and I will, I, like. I, pump Nicholas my name J. On Nurse, that. endorse this message. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's a message you can get away with endorsing. Definitely. Most people are like, yeah, agree. Now, what, Stephen A. Smith, different story. What oh, sign, I'd, I'd what would a sign have to at all costs? Like two, what would what, what would a two over the top sign be that you would not autograph? It had to have like some this is close for of someone like, of actual status and whatnot. Uh, it had to be like more slander, like you know he's like a racist or a pedophile or a murderer or something. But like a bitch, that's not even false. He's kind so of so you wouldn't sign something that said Skip Bayless is a pedophile. Correct. Why? Do you have history? <laughs> <laughs> what about just if it was tip a, of my tongue? Like you what, know, just top what of about the if it was Dave? Dave Fournoy is, is a blank. Yeah, well, Dave's yeah, I do whatever. You say whatever. <laughs> Dave Portnoy is a baby murderer. Holocaust denier. Done. <laughs> Dave Portnoy responsible for the Holocaust. <laughs> Put my John Hancock on that one. Kevin I see no Francis. lies. <laughs> uh, last up here. Who's your enemy? I'm trying to think of one for you. My who's, enemy? Yeah. Like, who's to you. you. Isn't me? Yeah. All right. Which one for me you would sign? Coley's enemy is gravity, bro. I I put a Atmosphere. beat down on gravity this year. Yeah, <laughs> I'm true. running up the scoreboard that's on gravity, true. Kevin. Please, heights too. You like broke the curse. Uh, oh yeah. Can you jump? Can you look up and jump now? I do. PFT tried to chirp me about that at field day. I looked up right in his fucking face. Why don't you do it right now? Look yeah. up. Stand, I mean, inside, stand up, stand inside up and never up. was a problem. Uh, it was always outside you with the vastness of the sky. <laughs> sky the the sky just kept going, John. <laughs> it wouldn't stop. It just kept on <laughs> chugging along. Um, what sign wouldn't I sign of yours? Nah, I mean, I want, these I, people you can sign anything. The truth, yeah, I, I'd hope you'd sign anything. The truth always cuts deeper than a lie. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. John's wearing pink pants. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, millennials are growing horns. Coley says he has horns. Definitely. I've had this like bump back here. Because I thought you meant like. See if right he's got a horn. Feels like a horn? skull to me. Well, but no, no, no. no. Up here. Yeah. Buffoon. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of skull here. Tons of skull. I've got big skull. <laughs> There's no <laughs> arguing that. The yep. I, I've been I've been saying this forever, that the you have been yes. You've I, been saying forever that millennials are growing horns <laughs> in the back of their skull. That Kevin, our bodies are going. Where have you not Our bodies are going to change. That our necks are going to get weird and our hands are going to be. Weird. What aliens look like in movies, we're going to look like because they're going to evolve. Our eyes are going to end up being like you know how like we're predators, definitely going to get them. predators have slits. Prey has like the wider eyes like we have, so you can a little more peripheral. Yeah. Our eyes are gonna get like horizontal. We're gonna look like fucking aliens because we're gonna keep evolving because of how we deal with technology. That's been one of mine for a bit. You can't tell me I haven't said that. I mean, spot the lie. I think he's right. You can go listen to KFC radio. I, I say that shit. Evolution. Because like we just walk around with our tad heads like, overblown. Of no. course we're gonna fucking. Have you seen change. those stats by the way? It's like when your head is up like this proper, your head weighs like eight pounds. And if you lean this much, it becomes like 25. And if you lean this much, your head like weighs 75 yeah, pounds. So, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, your head weighs 85 pounds as it is. Correct. Yeah, when no. you lean forward, it's got to be like two bills. If I had like a little baby bird neck, I'd be just like dead already. <laughs> Long dead. But I don't even agree that evolution is going to happen that quickly. Well, I don't think it's going to happen to me, but eventually it's going to happen. And these guys got horns. I don't know. Like, we still have gallbladders. Those things don't do anything. So stupid. Appendix, appendixes. Appendices. Yeah, you those can get stupid. those out of there. Like, Why are they in there? 
I think I think the the, yet, the hanging of the head has a more active influence on the body than like just. But that's a, gonna pass on to like our children, 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 children's like spinal yeah. curvatures. And just well, I think we'll just wait till they like they start having kids and. I've been microwaving my dick for like. We have been microwaving dicks. Every time. Why do we do that? We all do that. I don't know. Just right fucking. Right underneath. It's the universal Even spot. like sometimes you got big pockets, it just falls over there. Laptops, forget about it. Laptops, it's I've been. been I have been right cooking my testes yeah. for 15 years, probably. Mm -hmm. I'm proof positive, though. Life finds a way. Yeah, like I've always thought that I'm making myself sterile. Maybe you're zapping what if I'm, it. What like if I'm mutant, making them mutant super pump. strong? Mm -hmm. That would be a disaster. If your kid just like beat you yeah. up. Hey John. No, I mean if I, I just have a bunch of kids like this. Oh yeah, yeah that would be bad. <laughs> you would stink at that. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Uh, all right, that's it. The draft oh, what is about tonight. The, you don't want to do the subway. Oh shoot? yeah, there's a subway fight. This guy br brings a bat to a gunfight. Not a good idea. <laughs> Baseball again. again. As a, yeah, baseball, very heavy. Here. And also had a basketball. Guy's playing too many sports. Who walks around with a baseball <laughs> and a basketball? Like ready to go. At all times. If a pickup game breaks out of any ball. sport, I've got it. Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> On roller that, 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 You can't fuck with someone like that. Someone no. who's got a basketball and a tote bag and a, and a baseball and a bat. Oh, yeah, if you have a gun. A gun beats a basketball and a bat. Yeah, but I mean, like, still. Like rock beats I think paper. people are reluctant to use a gun because of the finality of it. If uh, yeah. that dude, that dude will hit you upside the head with a basketball. This guy might throw up his basketball. No you're like, that's a distraction, and then he hits it with the bat. Now you're yeah, dead. Yeah, no, you're, you're dead. Now you're in trouble. But as always with New York City subway videos, the star is the, the the, uh, the onlooker else. who's just like, eh, fuck this shit, dude. This is this is inconvenient. In inconvenient yeah, I'm just trying to get. This guy's waving a gun. 34th Street. It could easily pop off. It was that easily. guy gave a huff. Like he was caught in a red light and, he was gonna yeah. be late and his life was going to like be bad. Like the same way those guys that like, sell candy again. bars. Like, ah, uh, I'd again. really prefer you not to hawk your candy bars at me. Like, I'd really prefer you not to shoot me with The guy the up was, was maybe he was upset and he didn't get shot. He's like, oh, I this actually, is the day. I actually listened to the audio, which is the thing I rarely do. Rarely I even watch the video. Uh, but I listened to the audio as well in this one. The guy with the gun is claiming he's a cop. That dude, that was, that not, was not a gun. That cop, was not a cop, a cop gun. gun. No, that was not a cop no. gun. <laughs> that was not and a cop. he was like, but he was acting. It was like a revolver. Where he's like waving people away. He's like, you're under arrest. I don't think that's how cops put people under arrest. No, they just like don't let anyone stand near him. Just keep yelling, you're under arrest. No, no. That's, that's citizens York, arrest man. friend. <laughs> Vigilante justice. That the is, draft yeah. is tonight, which means it's a mixtape extravaganza. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it start? It's like 7:30. We've been trying to figure out when, like the like. The actual draft supposed to start. Everyone's very unhelpful on that end. <laughs> like ESPN's just like we kind of started at seven. Maybe. But I think Who definitely knows? like there's definitely not a pick at seven. Like years past, it's been eight thirty. Right. I think they did shift it up. So look for us to go live anywhere between seven thirty and seven forty-five. Uh, who do you think is going to go number one, Coley? It's hard to say, Kevin. It really is. It's a crapshoot this of year. Of all the drafts, this is the hardest this one, is the to, one pin to predict. Down. Who's going to go one? Uh, Are you excited for RJ Barrett? Yes. Are you? Seems the it. Maple Mamba. I speak for the casual fan, and let me tell you, R.J. Barrett does not move the needle. Does not move the needle. But, but I mean, that's not what you need, right? Agreed. Like, I think if, if Zion did not exist, I think R.J. Barrett would be that dude this year. It's like yeah. he just happened to play right next to him in that guy's shadow. I personally have never watched him play very well, but I only watch limited basketball. His numbers are good. He was, like, highly touted. And uh, here's the thing, like, it's going to be him, so let's fucking get behind it. Like, he's what down are... with the Knicks for some god-awful reason, and we should be down with him, too. Maple Mamba, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to get there. Maple Mamba? Maple that's Mamba is Canadian. Well, because that's because Andrew Wiggins was Maple Jordan, and Andrew Wiggins stinks, so. Right, you don't want that. Kobe's worse than Jordan, you would assume, if these analogies hold. Is that what they just do with Canadian players? It's Maple, maple something? Yeah. yeah. 
Because he's uh, fucking... Who's John, the John dickhead Paxton you guys traded for? Yeah, yeah Paxton. Big Maple. Yeah, Big I Maple. I kind of like that, though. The Big Maple's ridiculous. Big Maple's a strong one. Yeah. Maple Mamba, I'll get behind it. Maple Jordan uh, sounded cool the first time you heard it, and then you watched Andrew Wiggins play. Well, then you realized he stunk. Yeah. And it was like, well, this is insulting. Um, what was he going to say? Well, is there any chance, and I'm sure it's zero, that the Pelicans pull, like, a Houston Texans? When, no. when everyone thought they were going Reggie, took... No. Uh, I mean, was it Mo Williams? What was his name? You would have no, to it be. Was, uh, uh, oh my Who's the D the Texans took? Mo- Mario Williams. Mario, Mario Williams. Williams. I, I mean, you'd have to be so confident in yourself to think that you're smarter than everyone else on the planet to not draft Zion. That's one of those things that's like, just draft him. And if he's a bust, it's like, so no fucking be, be it. Yeah, no so be it. That sucks. But don't get Yeah, like, no him. one blames like, people who took Greg Oden. Right. It was just like, that's just bad. But I almost, that's like, shitty. that would make me take someone else because like I'm like look I'm, first of all I'm, I'm so dumb I'm set for life right like you if you have a front office job you're set for life you're gonna get hired somewhere else maybe not as a GM but like not if you're the guy you'll always have Zion. a hot thing <laughs> I think you'll be pretty much if you're the guy like, like you know what give me Garland those those like <laughs> any sport like the front office yeah, and yeah. the fucking coaches you just yeah, fucking you just go, shift go, go to the next. Like, he needs to change the scenery you What's need to I don't know what that means for front office person but whatever the New York Knicks um and then if you're right you're like the greatest team all time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but they I also, think it's low risk, high reward. Here's the other. No. <laughs> There's a tank. That's, not drafting. Listen, <laughs> the greatest Tony, player. Do you want to host the draft show risk. tonight? Like what? High what are these cowards risk. taking Zion? Yeah, a fucking pussy. Like. Here's the other nice. thing. They, here's the other thing too. Like they have number four. Like they could just trade up to two and take the other guy you're so enamored with. Yeah. All right, do that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's the rundown. So check out uh, mixtape. Uh, yeah, pretty much everyone involved. All over social, right? Uh, oh, yeah. uh, speaking of a casual basketball fan, I like Bill Simmons' uh, Celtics roster. Oh, boy. What was it? I didn't see it. It was uh, Steven Adams. Okay. Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown. Heard of him. Uh, Marcus Smart. Smart. You're trading? Is I think trade? D'Angelo Russell. Okay. And then picks 14, 20, 22. Is that what they have? I don't see how we can get Steven Adams and then all three picks. Look, I'm just saying what I saw. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, <laughs> is it 52? He's 42. He's a 42. 42? All right. Yeah, <laughs> slightly above 500. No, I mean, that team, like Steven Adams, the Thunder, are trying to dump him to create some cap space. Uh, I just like Steven Adams. The he city of Boston funny, would love actually. Steven Adams. Absolutely love him. He's the strongest man alive. Uh, and D'Angelo Russell would just be like getting a younger, worse Kyrie. We were pretty up for that. Yeah, no, I would, look, I would watch that team for certain. Yeah, it seems like a fun team. It's definitely a team. I spent I spent more time. It's a watching team that, that will team play basketball. I'm still terrified that we're gonna sign Ricky Rubio, so I'll sign on for that. Every I like Ricky Rubio to too. No, Ricky Rubio's Anyone bad. who like is from somewhere not America, I like you. All right, let's go. Like, like Ricky like Rubio and Steve Adams, fuck yeah! Oh God. The international Celtics. Disastrous. <laughs> All right. <laughs>